Yo guys, sorry, you already know this day, we are back playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Uh, on the last time, we did a couple duels uh, throughout the tournament, made it a little bit further than I expected, and I said between the last time and this time I was going to do some free duels, uh, which I did do, but not as many as you would think. Uh, I'm sort of running into an issue where I'm not really getting that many good cards, and I think that the place that I can get better cards are uh, is a little bit further in the game, so I want to try and get a little bit further in the game. Uh, but just to kind of show off what I've done, I tried Seto once, uh, I beat Rex a couple times, I've occurred a couple times, Shoddy once, uh, bit at Keith a few times, and I think I dueled my like another time. Um, I didn't get that many like new cards out of it. I did get another Dragon Zombie, so now I have two, uh, which is really nice. I don't know if any of these other cards are new or not, but I will. I think the second Cannon Soldier might be new, um, but I'll kind of scroll down just in case any of these are new. I know this Wood Remains is new. I got a couple of stronger, like, zombies. Like, this is a stronger zombie, so I took out some of the weaker zombies. I've been sort of getting, um, instead of replacing, uh, like, cards that don't fuse or whatever, I I've been, like, getting stronger monsters. And, uh, so, like, this Wood Remains, I replaced, like, one of the lower level zombies. Uh, so that way I can, uh, stop. Because if I, if I fuse, like, a lower level plant and a lower level zombie, I get one of these. But if I just have this, then I don't need to make that anymore. Uh, and of course, that, uh, is annoying. I don't know why that happens. I wish I knew why sometimes it'll just, like, put it over. Why? Don't do that. Whatever. Uh, but that's what my deck looks like right now. So, we are going to continue on to the tournament, because, honestly, it just takes the right combination of things to happen, um, for us to be able to, to win the next couple of, uh, duels. And I, I, you know, I, I just want to get through it so that way I can start trying to get better cards uh, against some of the future duelists. So we're going to head back in this tournament. There's only a couple of opponents left. And, uh, yeah, it might take a few tries, but we are going to go ahead and hop right on into it. So let's go ahead and see who is next. We are going to leave the shop as we do. And who do we got to face? Quarterfinal match, Yugi versus Pegasus. That's right. It's the boy. It's Pegasus. Well, well, Yugi boy, you've come a long way, but now it's uh, time to lose. Yes, uh, the man, the myth, the legend himself, uh, Maximilian Pegasus. This uh, this fight shouldn't be too bad. Uh, in free duel, he'll sometimes bring out a Black Skull Dragon, which is like 3200 attack. Uh, that does. I don't think that I've ever seen that happen in like the actual campaign fight. Uh, nor does it happen all that often, but it is interesting that that can happen. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a pumpkin, uh, a pumpkin, rather, and hit, uh, Pegasus's main card is, uh, is a card called the Curry Box that has 2300 attack, and I feel like that's a pretty staple of his deck that he brings out a lot, so I would not be surprised if that is what happens here. Yep. So, that is the, is the main threshold we have to beat, so if we can bring out a Twin Head of Thunder Dragon, or even a... Um, oh gosh, or even like a, a Crimson Sunbird or something, that would also be really helpful. Uh, it doesn't really matter what order I do these in. I'm just going to kind of, this hand is a wash, go for the next one and see if I can bring out something strong. All we need is one win, so if I lose a couple times along the way, then it doesn't really matter. Uh, I wonder if we brought out another one or not. Because that is the moon as well. He did, okay. But yeah, I, and I don't, I feel like he also might have some traps as well, so here we go. Here's our Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Now let's hope that it can stay on the field long enough to take out both of these Bakuri boxes, uh, as well as long enough for me to bring out another strong monster. I now have the ability to at least make two Twin-Headed Thunder Dragons if I play my cards right, now that I have a second Dragon Zombie. Um, but I thought I might be able to get some weaker dragons uh, from like Jono or like somebody else, but like, I think it's possible, but I just didn't really do it. So... I think there's a duelist just a little bit further ahead that is going to be a more reliable source of getting dragons. Because if I can get some more dragons in my deck, then that will help me make stronger monsters more effectively, or more consistently, I don't know. But I mean, here we go, I'm getting a lot better at getting more combinations to make the Crimson Sunbird, which is also a really strong card for this part of the game. So those two cards, the Crimson Sunbird and the Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, those are the, the two uh, most important uh, cards. Also, it's, uh, good to, good to note. I don't know if this is exactly true, 
but I do think that this game might make a little bit use of uh, Pegasus's, you know, sort of like Millennium Eye from like the, the anime where you can like see the cards uh, that are face down. Because uh, generally, I don't think he will attack if the, the card that's face down has a higher defense than, you know, uh, than what he has uh, attack wise. So, you can't really get him to, to just like, you know, attack cards that he's going to take life boys from. You just have to make stronger cards, and that's it. If only I had something with 1600 attack, I could have ended it that turn. But that's okay. This is probably just like a C rank. I took damage to my life points. I've used a decent amount of cards. Um, I don't exactly know what goes into like every little rank. Um, whatever, I'll just throw this out. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, I don't really know what goes into into the ranking outside of just like the amount of cards used, the amount of turns taken, and whatnot. But uh, alright, so we, that is our first victory of the day, which is good because I think this fight is actually harder than the one that comes after this one, uh, which is nice. And we got a wing dragon number two. Actually, wait. That's this is a dumb question, but I actually don't know if that counts as a dragon. Um, I will look. A uh, defeat can be bitter. Yes, it can. And so can ripping your eye out. Uh, oh dear. Yeah, your eye is mine. Thank you. I will not be giving it back. I don't believe it. My millennium eye. Yeah, it's a card, and I'm gonna play it against you. One more duel. Uh, one more duel, Yugi, and then it's the final battle. Uh, what do you want to do? Well, I definitely want to save because I don't want to get unlucky and uh, have to do that again and lose the next time. Uh, I do kind of want to look at this dragon. Yeah, this is a this is a winged beast. I actually don't think it counts as a dragon in terms of fusions. Uh, this is also the second one I have, so that is very unfortunate. Uh, I decided not to put too many winged beasts in my deck because I only have I think like two, I think three card. Three or four cards that I can count as like fire monsters for for the Crimson Sunbird, um, but also uh, this Winged Dragon number two, it is uh, less than thirteen hundred attack. And if you fuse a Winged Beast with less than thirteen hundred attack with a fire monster with less than thirteen hundred attack, uh, you just end up fusing into this, uh, and that's not very helpful. So that's why I did not put that in the in the deck, and I don't plan on putting that one in the deck either. Uh, but all right, we are making good progress so far. So let's go ahead and get on to the next duel. We are almost at the finals. Crazy as it sounds. Semi-final match, Yugi versus Isis. That's right, we're taking down all of Isis. Uh oh, actually, I mean, it's just the person. That's my pleasure to face you in battle, Yugi. But only one will walk away victorious, me. Okay, uh, she has a specialty in aqua monsters. So literally, the game plan is bring out Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon and win. Because I don't even think that she uses that many traps or anything. And that is why she is generally easier than, um, than, uh, Pegasus, in my opinion. Also, her strongest card that she will bring out is the Aqua Dragon, which is 2250, uh, attack. So, we could also bring out the Crimson Sunbird and just be stronger than anything she has. Uh, but I don't think this is it. Oh, she brought out the Black Skull Dragon in a story duel? What? I don't know that I've ever seen that. Whoa, she sometimes does that in free duel, but like, whoa, 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 okay. Uh, things have gotten a little crazy now. Oh gosh, this is not good. We even had the perfect setup to make the Twin Head of Thunder Dragon. I thought this was in the bag. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you save before every duel. And the problem is the AI, once they bring out monsters that are over 3,000 attack, if they're choosing not to attack, they won't even put it in defense mode. So I need to make a monster that is higher than 3,200, and I literally have one way to do it. Oh boy. Oh gosh. I just really need to hope. Oh no. Oh, no, oh, no. If I somehow make it out of this... Actually, no, I have two ways out of this uh, situation. I have uh, Raigeki, and I have uh, Umi, the field card. Those are my two options. Uh, I mean, this makes something and it helps. I don't want her to destroy my life points, so I'm actually just going to, like... Because that, that's what would have happened next turn anyways. If I put Mystical Sand Defense Mode, she would have just, like, attacked with a shark. 
Um, so that's just better th for the future. But if I can get Rageki, then we're safe. Uh, because now she's attacking. I can only try and hold this off for so long. There's the Aqua Dragon. Wow, 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 wow. She attacked with the Catapult Turtle? Never, nobody ever attacks with the Catapult Turtle. That's crazy. Um, that is highly unfortunate. There's really not much I can do. Um, I basically need all the luck in the world right now. I'm only doing this just to get some damage to her life points in case I do draw Raigeki next turn. I'm at least, I at least have a head start uh, to taking her out. It's a, it's impossible to pass up the opportunity of getting 2,300 damage to her life points from the Catapult Turtle. Uh, but she's gonna be able to uh, match, actually exceed that a little bit between her two attacks. And if I don't draw Raigeki here, I lose. And yeah, okay. So that is an L, but she does not bring out the Black Skull Dragon very often, so uh, all we have to do is run it back again and have that not happen, and we'll be fine. Wow. I can't believe I, like, talked to a Pegasus so much and then and then just got destroyed by um, Isis. I actually think... Uh, I think I might have mixed some details up in my mind. Uh, I'll explain. Uh, oh my, I believe I won, didn't I? I heard you were strong, but not strong enough. Yeah. Uh, I think in my mind, actually, I actually mix it up. Uh, Pegasus is not the one that brings out the Black Skull Dragon. Pegasus will actually bring out a card in free duels very rarely called the Meteor Black Dragon, which is 3,500 attack, but I've never seen him do that in the, in, like, the story, like, campaign fight. It's always only free duel, and it's not very often. Um, Isis is the one that has the Black Skull Dragon, and I, again, I don't remember ever seeing her do that in, like, the, the story fight. Usually it's only in free duel, and even then it's not that often. So let's run it back and see if I can be proven right, or if this game's just gonna like throw the Black Skull Dragon out every single time. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that happened. I can just like start with Rageki in case it does happen. That would be amazing. But who knows? Let's uh, run it back. Attempt number two, and of course this is a way worse starting hand. I am going to... That's just like a zombie... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm basically just trying to waste my hand. Uh, doesn't really matter. But I wanted to keep the Flame Ghost because I can at least make the Crimson Sunbird with that. It's the only reason I kept that card. Alright, we're a Neptune, that's fine. So it's a Roaring Ocean Snake. Uh, if she didn't bring out Black Skull Dragon turn one of the of the duel, then she's probably not going to do it at all, uh, which is good for us. What's not good for us is the fact that I, I didn't get any great monsters that I could make here. So she's going to get a free assault on my life points. Uh, please. Oh. All right. So she put a magic card down. I don't know what magic card that would be. I don't remember what sort of magic card she uses. Oh, come on. Um, in an effort... Okay, so uh, here's the reason that I'm doing this. I'm, ge I'm getting rid of the warrior first off. Um, if I let her keep this card on the field, there is a chance that this is an equipped card to make this stronger. There is also a chance that she would fuse or do something other uh, else crazy. However, the AI acts way more straightforward if they don't have any monsters on the field currently. So that is why I'm making this trade here. Uh, because now she'll probably just put out a monster. Probably, you know, we'll just attack straight up and, and that'll be that. Uh, but I could be wrong. Yeah, and she won't even attack. Alright, so this is a, a monster with high defense. So, very cool. Can I please get something I can work with? I'm going to immediately go against what I did last turn, mostly because I don't actually have a way to kill that monster uh, face down. If she put it in defense position without attacking, it is probably a monster that has at least 2,000 defense, probably more. Um, I don't really want to do that. Oh my gosh. This is like... This is like pretty awful. I'm just going to keep putting stuff face down until I draw a card I can do something with. Or until she starts scaring me in some way. But right now, I think she's going to be very defensive. She She's very much a defensive, like, duelist. She's not super aggressive. 
and we can stall for time with her a lot more effectively than with other uh, duelists. So here we go. Is Twin Headed Thunder Dragon time? And it is time for us to go to town. Let's go ahead and attack her life points first. Then I'm probably going to attack that high defense monster, and then we'll go from there. If I can get a second monster that can do damage on the field, that would be really nice for us. That would speed up the process. But as it stands, this is, uh... Ooh, okay. My Spellbinding Circle is still okay. So, it lowers our monster's attack and defense by 500. Um, but, because we are Pluto, we are going to be super effective against all of her Neptunes, which is what she has a lot of. Um, which is also why I'm doing Mercury instead of Mars. And so I will always get the boost, which means I'm still strong enough to, you know, take out this 30,000 year white turtle. Yep. It's so funny. She won't attack with that, but she attacked with the Catapult Turtle uh, for 1,000, even though that has a higher attack. But that extra 100 defense, I guess, is just really important to her. Um, but yeah, so 2,300 is still the sort of threshold to beat. Now that she's not going to bring up the Black Skull Dragon anymore, uh, we don't need to worry about anything going wrong here. Oh, she has a Pair Dragon. That's interesting. I don't remember her having a pair of dragon. And here we go. This is double twin-headed thunder dragon action. This this is basically what I expect most of uh, my gameplay to be like. Uh, which is bring out a bunch of twin-headed thunder dragons and just win. Um, although that's not going to get me to the end of the game. Seeing as I have never beaten this game. Also because that is not a winning strategy uh, for the entire game. It's a winning strategy for like 75% of the game though. Maybe even more. But we are definitely going to need some better cards sooner than later. We'll just get the quick, easy win right here. Boom. This is probably a D-ranked duel with how long that took and how much... Well, we didn't take any damage for our life points. Maybe we sweeped out a C-rank. Yeah, Penguin Knight, not a good card. That's okay. We didn't need a good card. I actually really want to get to the next duelist because I think he will give us uh, some better cards. But uh, how? How could I lose? Uh, pretty easy, actually. Uh, what? My Millennium Necklace. It's being drawn into a card? Yep. It's mine now. Thanks. All right. I did make, make it to the final. Let's go ahead and save it. Absolutely. And now, it's time to take on the finals as a finalist and see if we can win. This one, we're definitely going to need some luck on our side. Uh, this will take multiple tries, probably. Well, this is it. Our finalists are the amazing Kaiba and the undefeated Yugi. I thought I might be facing you, Yugi. My Millennium Rod is the final item. But the Rod whispers to me that I must defeat you. Yugi, prepare to lose. Uh, I'm prepared. I am absolutely prepared. So, as you may be able to guess, uh, Kaiba can bring out the Blue-Eyes White Dragon, which is a card that has 3,000 attack. And by can, I mean he probably will. Um, so, we're just gonna <laughs> try and get my hand to a sort of... Did I actually make a... <laughs> I actually fused all of them. That wasn't on purpose. I forgot that that even happened. Uh, that they fused like that, but hey, we did. Um, but yeah, he brings out the Blue-Eyes White Dragon fairly consistently. If he puts it down and it's a sun monster, that's the, that's the blue eyes. That's a sun monster, that's the blue eyes. So, we need to be able to take care of this. Uh, which means that we need Raigeki or... Oh gosh. This is like really, really like... Um, risky. Now he's fusing. Oh gosh, now he's made a twin hunter dragon. Oh my gosh. If I don't draw the dragon zombie next turn, uh, I lose. <laughs> I mean, that would have been the case even if he didn't fuse, um, but... No! I don't think he's going to be scared away by anything that I have in uh, def defense, but I will I will give it the good old college try. So, that is what I mean that we need luck. We definitely need to have Raigeki uh, ready to go. Oh, and see, he put the Twin Head of Thunder Dragon in defense, which means that he's not going to attack with it this turn, but I assume whatever this is has more than 1700. Yep, barely. So we can just get past the, the very beginning, because I don't think he'll bring out multiple blue eyes. He might, but I, I don't think so. Um, but if we can get past that, then uh, we're fine. Ha 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 Yugi, I've waited for this day. This is the day I'll never forget. Ha 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 ha. Cool. Well, I'm going to make you forget it, because we're going to go into a timeline where you do lose. But yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a few tries. 
Um, I wish... Actually, like... So, if I really can't do it, um, it's very difficult, but beating Pegasus, uh, does give you access to, to certain, like, magic and trap cards or whatnot that, uh, can help. So, if I really can't do this, then I will probably just free duel Pegasus a bunch of times, um, and see if I can get some cards that can help me out in this duel here. Because right now, I'm basically just trying to brute force my way through this fight, even though I'm probably, like, not really strong enough to beat him, uh, consistently. So, you know, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm still, I'm still trying. I'm still trying. Let's see. If we can start off with Raigeki, that would be best case scenario. Um, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. So, here's what we do. I want to clear out my hand to give myself a better opportunity to make good cards. I could have tried to put something face down defense in hopes that he doesn't attack me. But I could also hold on to hope that maybe he doesn't put out the blue eyes, even though he literally just played the first card that he drew. Okay. Interesting. 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 I'm trying to think what moon. Hmm. That's right. Hmm. Mm, this is tough. This is tough. My dilemma is I'm assuming that whatever this is has a higher defense than 1800. But I don't really have another way to get rid of it. And if I don't do anything about it, I think he might fuse. But I do have a Raigeki sitting in my back pocket. So I'm actually I'm actually just going to keep it like this. I think he might make like a twin head of the dragon or put something stupid out. But oh, it wasn't. Oh, 1930. All right. So yeah, I was right. I was right. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So now, here we go. So that's... Mm, okay. I just wanted to make sure that I am putting down the right uh, signs or whatever. You can also use the Crimson Sunbird with Mercury. If I was able to power up the Crimson Sunbird, I could uh, get this to be strong against the Blue Eyes. I'm not sure if I've ever, like, addressed it um, or if it's kind of caught on by now, but despite the fact that I have two options for um like which guardian star like that i can put my monster in the opponents will never ever choose the secondary one they always choose the primary one that's why i've memorized some of the the important cards in their and their like star sign thing um because it's always the same when the opponents play them every opponent everything nobody ever changes them and that is consistent the whole way through um Do I... Like, I don't know if I bring out Umi because I might end up just making his card stronger. I'm... I'm gonna do this for now. I'll sit on it. If I bring out a Twin Head of Thunder Dragon, then maybe. Oh, look at that. Look at how Mercury got me extra 500 points with uh, life points. So he hasn't brought out the Blue Eyes yet, which means I don't think he's going to. So this should be a victory for us. I don't think he has any way to take out my Crimson Sumber without his strongest cards. Um, alright, I can, I can just sort of, sort of throw these cards away. Um, I honestly might take the, the free 1300 damage to his life points. Because, yeah, he's putting out stuff in, like, the 18 to 1900 range, so, worst case scenario, I'm probably taking, like, 600 points to, to, to my life points, and that's not that big of a deal. In free duels, I'll try to, like, get higher ranks and whatnot, but for the story fight, like, a win is a win, and that's all that matters. I can improve my performance later. My gosh, I'm really just getting nothing to work with, huh? That is, uh, crazy, but it is what it is. Same, same logic as last turn. I'll just attack with this, and then hopefully next turn I can, eh, probably not win. Only if I can make a Twin Head of Thunder Dragon. Oh, now he's not attacking. So, I can make a Twin Head of Thunder Dragon. And so here we go. I'm going to be able to win. Because... He put out that weak card. We're going to go ahead and make the field a nice, pretty blue. Just so we can really get the win here with our Twin Head of Thunder Dragon, which is a Thunder Monster. So we get the effects uh, from Umi, which is so good. And let's go. We beat Kaiba. This is a big deal. Hajikosi, I 
don't remember. Actually, that might be an okay card. If I'm if it's the card I think it is, I think it's like a warrior with like fifteen hundred attack. I don't know. Eh, it might be. This cannot be me defeated. Yes, it can be. Um, I'm actually gonna wrap up this episode here because we're about to get into a lot of story stuff that I think immediately goes into another duel at some point. So, I don't rem remember where the cutoff is, but I think it's a really long cutscene. So, we're going to see what happens on the next time. So, hopefully you're excited for the twists and turns that the story is about to take. We gathered all the Millennium items to the cards. And, uh, I mean, what happens now could be, is anyone's guess. Uh, I know the answer, but maybe you don't. So, find out in the next time. Uh, if you've been enjoying it, please let me know. And I will see you on the next time. So, till then, peace out.